Alright, hello Pisces Aries, welcome to your monthly reading. It's going to be for October 2020, and today we're taking a look at a connection you're dealing with. I'm asking specifically for love, but sometimes a family member or a friend or any other relationship you have could show up. So always take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The roles could be reversed, but if this doesn't resonate, because it's not going to resonate with everyone, you can always check your individual signs, but if it does, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and comment. That really helps the channel to grow, so I would hugely appreciate it, okay? So, ooh, all right. We have prayer and patience. <laughs> so, you are manifesting amazing things, and I do feel like they are coming towards you, especially having this prayer card here, but patience. Patience is key, and it may not be easy for you to get into that track. You may be a very impatient person, uh, especially uh, if you are Aries Moon, Aries, uh, sorry, Aries Sun, because uh, you just want to get things done, right? You just want to go for it, and you may have to wait a little bit, especially having um, rejection here, bottom of the deck, and a victim right behind it. It's, you still may have some beliefs or um, some issues, some problems, some, some traumas that you may still have to take care of, especially from your childhood, because I did see the facade card um, while I was shuffling. So something from your childhood, yeah, <laughs> worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we also have codependency. There we go. Some addictions. Something is blocking this. Oh my god. This is definitely worth waiting for. You have getting to know each other. This could be the one in a wedding. Do you want better than this? Goodness. But it is taking a little bit of time because you still have those issues to take care of. The codependency. Some addiction. For some of you, it's workaholism. Um... And you are not giving, and it's not even about workaholic, being a workaholic and not giving enough time to others. It's, you're not giving enough time to you, okay? You're not giving enough time to yourself, spending some time with yourself, taking care of your body. Um, that is something that you should focus on, okay? For others of you, it is codependency, okay? And you do need to first focus on yourself and, um... Be in love with yourself. Be the only person that you need in your life. Because you can't really give love. Well, you can, but it's not healthy and it's not going to lead you anywhere. Um, give love to to other people and then not give any, not giving it to yourself. Because the more you give and if you don't put it back into your life... You will come to this point where you're out. Your stock of love is out. So you kind of need to refill it every day uh, with, you know, taking care of your body, with drinking water, with meditating, or just going out for a walk, just doing something for yourself, um, doing something creative. I'm getting for you, uh, like, dancing or, you know, just listening to music and having fun with it. That is all giving love to yourself. Okay, so whatever addiction you're currently dealing with, you've got to take care of it, okay? Hanged man, overall energy, and right, wow, yeah, right behind it, ten of cups, of, nine of, one, of pentacles. So things are in this stagnation point. Um, I do feel like you are already single. I'm not sure if you know this person yet, um, but you are definitely manifesting them. And things are not moving because of this. Okay? So don't... Um, now is not the time to want the wish. Now is the time to want yourself. To want the Nine of Pentacles. To be independent. To be with yourself. To be good with yourself. To feel like you don't need anyone else. That is when your person comes in. It's when you're finally good on your own. When you're happily single. That person will come in. But first, you got to be happily single and feel like, no, I'm good. I'm an independent Pisces Aries. I don't need anyone. 
got to reach that first. Okay, but your Ten of Cups is coming. You're happily ever after. The one, possibly, okay? So in the past, we have the Fool. Current situation, Three of Cups. Hermit for the month of October. So definitely, I feel like you... Um, this Fool in the past, I feel like it was just about you... Uh, having fun with your life and I feel like you're still doing that you possibly go out a lot or you talk a lot to your friends I feel like you're a very social person and you always like to meet new people and I feel like your focus is meeting new people that could lead to a romantic uh, partnership to a romantic um, relationship now is the time to be in a relationship with yourself and you can still meet new people totally, but I feel like you really need to go within and try to find that addiction. <clears throat> Sorry. Try to find that, that addiction. And one thing that you could ask yourself is, why do you want this so bad? Why can't you wait? Why are you so impatient? Why do you want this? Because uh, and you may start with those uh, like normal, simple questions like, oh, I, you know, I want love, I want to have family, I want to, you know, I want to get married, stuff like that. But why? Why can't you wait another year? Why can't you wait 10 years? Why can't you wait? That is something that you, maybe uh, you should ask yourself and that could bring up a lot of things that you start to uh, get aware of where you where you need to focus and where you need to improve okay so on your side we have the story there you were asking um for that wish manifesting tower six of cups there's definitely um and it's interesting that the six of cups is coming up and that I mentioned the facade card about childhood uh, earlier. Because I feel like you were manifesting something and possibly you even had a relationship that looked like it could be it. And then it just, boom, just blew off. Possibly you came across a third party situation. Possibly in past relationships, you come across, you came across with a lot of third party situations. Why? It's not about, uh, it is about manifesting something different, but for you to get that different, you got to go to the back, to the past, and see why didn't this work out? Yes, I attracted a third party. How did I attract it? Is it because deep down you think that you can't provide enough for a relationship? Is it because deep down you think you're not good enough, you're not worth it, that you don't deserve love? I don't know, I'm just putting it out there, right? You know, you, you're the one who knows what is blocking you. It may not be easy to find that out, but it is a process, right? We're always learning and we keep learning throughout our, all our lives and there are situations that keep bringing subjects up and it's all about going to the past, analyzing it, reflecting on it, seeing what worked, what didn't work, especially what didn't work, so you can see, okay, this path and this mindset and this belief is not working for me. Let me change. Let me try something different, right? So that is why you're not getting this, the one, you're not getting the wedding, you're not getting the beautiful manifestation. You're wishing it, you're manifesting it right. It's all happening just right. Everything is happening how it's supposed to. But a tower kind of has to happen. And it may be frightening, especially if you have an idea of the tower, a very bad, like everything is going to fall down and everything is going to go bad. No, the tower actually brings down um, false stability. That's how I see the tower most of the time. Sometimes it is a, a really bad tower moment, but most of the time, the tower is here to, sh to 
bring down false stability, to bring down false beliefs, false things that don't work with us, that are not, just don't resonate with us. That is what the tower does. So you may actually start communicating with some, someone from the past, and next may want to talk again, because there's still something to see and to understand with that ex. I feel like you won't even care, right? You're going to be like, okay, yeah, fine, bye. But where it, may, it may not even be a conversation, but like in social media, an ex may show up. If something reminds you from a past relationship, it is a sign. It is telling you, hey, this is the relationship that you thought you've healed, that you thought you've learned everything. There is still something to learn here. That is the relationship you need to go back and see what didn't work. Why didn't it work? That is where you should go. Okay, so really keep on the lookout and uh, really try to see what comes up, who comes up. Because that is a sign. Okay, let's see. Queen of Pentacles for your person. Judgment. Three of Pentacles. Nice. So... I do feel like for a lot of you, you don't know this person, especially having that getting to know each other, bottom of the deck. If you do, it's very recent. Uh, very, very recent. But you may actually meet them through friends, and you may have already met them at a party or something like that. And it was just very uh, small talk, you know? It wasn't like big conversation or a long conversation. Right? It was just that, oh, hey, I'm Pisces Aries. How are you? Who are you? You know, it's just that first communication. I don't think that you've exchanged numbers or something like that, but you felt the connection. You definitely felt it. And this person is brought to you by the universe because you are manifesting them. And it sort of gave you that little glimpse of, hey, this is your wish coming true. But first, you got this. And... I feel like that is just just the only thing you have to do. Like, it's easy. Um, and, but what I mean with that is that from this person's side, I feel like they are fine. They have this queen of pentacles, so they are taking care of themselves. They are loving themselves. They are in a very good place with themselves to have a solid uh, relationship. They are looking for partnerships. They are looking for... Um, they are looking to build something stable. And I feel like for the longest time, they were sort of rejecting people in a romantic way. Um, not that they wouldn't be friends with them or anything like that, but if they would try anything else, they would be like, oh, sorry, just not the right time. Because they were sort of going through the same things that you are going right now. But on their side, they've already, they're already done with that. And now they're making the choice, sort of nudged by the universe to be like, hey, now you're ready for something else. Now you're ready for a partnership. Okay. So I do feel like the ball is on your side. Let me see. What do you want to see? Let me see the hangman. Overall energy. King of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups again. Yeah. It's just... You gotta, things are not working, things are not moving, in theory, um, but in reality, they are, because you're becoming this, you're becoming stable, mature, um, reliable, because you rely on yourself, you don't rely on others, you rely on yourself, and on your vision, on your belief, you're becoming this independent person, so you can have the Ten of Cups. That is why things are not moving. And this month, it's not about movement. It's about, well, it's not about exterior movement. It's about inner movement, okay? And I really love this because your person has a queen of pentacles. They are, they are already the queen of pentacles, right? You're becoming their king of pentacles. Female, male, whatever, it doesn't matter. Maybe you have a really strong divine feminine and you're starting to connect more with your divine masculine and maybe they had some trouble with their divine feminine and now that part is done. You're just becoming a really good match to each other. Okay? 
Let's clarify the fool in past. Five of Wands, Four of Swords, King of Wands. Uh, I feel like for some of you, you were cheated on by a fire sign. That could be the, um, the relationship that you need to take a look at from the past. Or, you know, it just, it wasn't happy. It wasn't happy. But a strong fire sign here. So maybe if you were dealing with a fire sign, that is a relationship that you need to look at. Um, and I feel like you just decided to take a leap of faith and get out of that relationship. There could have been love. It could have been amazing. But you weren't happy. And you were like, there was a lot of arguments, stuff like that. So you just like, okay, gotta go. I gotta go take care of myself. I gotta go heal. And I feel like for the most part, you did. But there are still something else okay let me see the three cups the world king of cups eight of cups you might have been um always and sort of rejecting relationships too but not really because you weren't on that path right It's just because you weren't opening up your heart. You were scared of what your heart could have told you. And in a way, you're still there. But at the same time, you're manifesting the one. I just feel like you're scared of going deep. Of finding out what's there. So let's clarify that hermit. You could have been like very, not player, but, and maybe not even a uh, one night stand or something like that, or friends with benefits. Could have been, right? It could have been. Uh, that mindset or the, the sort of relationship that you were wanting at some point. Now I feel like that is shifting and you're really starting to be like, okay, I do want the King Cups. I do want to feel my love. I do want that. But at the same time, you're walking away from it because and you're walking away unconsciously because you're afraid of looking inside your heart of healing those wounds of feeling those wounds because feeling is the worst part all right but for the hermit month of october the moon king of swords nine of wands love this because in October you're figuring out exactly especially having the skin swords looking right into the moon all those secrets all those illusions um, that your beliefs create all that past heard everything that was hidden that you didn't want to see it's coming up to the surface and you're seeing it way clearly and then there's nine of wands you bring your walls down to yourself it's not even to this person to love to anything you're bringing your walls down to yourself because our um, mind finds a way of protecting us from supposed danger and that is for example hurt pain emotional pain but we do need to feel the pain so we can get through it we do need to take a look at the pain to get through it and so you always sort of avoided taking a look at that for the month of October. It's coming up to the surface. It's coming up to the surface, okay? And you're creating this stability, not only in a relationship, and not only creating um, a king of pentacles that is ready for commitment, but you're creating commitment to yourself too. And this could actually... Uh, not that this is feeling like it's about love, about career. It doesn't feel like that. But I do feel like your career may also have some little blocks that is going to be, those blocks are going to be lift up as you do that. And you may actually get a lot of abundance. Your business may start to balance and become really, really successful. Okay, so let me see the tower.
Empress, Page of Swords, Two of Swords. That blindfold is coming off. And it's like, I feel like it's going to be right at the moment that you're, I don't know, almost asking this person out or almost seeing that this could be the one. Is that the moment that the tower is going to happen? I don't feel like it's anything that this person is going to say. Could be just something getting in the way. You know, you being on the way for a date with this person and you find a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic in the world and you have to, to cancel. I feel like you, you may try things with this person and blocks and challenges, bumps in the road may keep happening until you see. Okay, let me see that six of cups. Five of Cups, Ten of Wands, Three of Swords. Goodness, yep. Whew. I feel like for some of you, you may have almost been married to this past person. You might have been cheated. And I feel like that is a pain that you sort of brushed off. You healed most of it, but at the same time, you sort of Okay, let me just brush it off really quickly. And you got right back up what you're on your feet. But the pain, the resentment, the burdens, whatever, the anger is still there. And that's where you need to look. Okay, so again, I do feel like you're going to be receiving signs about who this person is. Okay, let me check messages and advice from the universe. For Pisces Aries, what do we have? Messages and advice for the uh, from the universe. Pisces Aries. Definitely internal stuff needed to happen, needs to happen. I love me. So a lot of taking care of yourself, especially having a bubble bath and face mask. Take care of yourself, take care of your body. Again, now is the time to be that single, independent, confident person. Okay? You need to be there before you can be with someone else. Keep an open mind. Trust your spirit guides in the universe. Ask for help. And I don't think it's uh, help from a friend. I feel like it could be help from a guide, help from um, even your parents. I feel like you need uh, another view from the outside. But not someone that knows your situation. Because even those people, they may be a little bit blinded or... They may already have some preconceived ideas, okay? So I feel like you need help. Uh, if you feel like you need help, um, go for like a psychologist or something like that. Someone that doesn't know your situation. The right path is the one you choose to take. All right? And what this basically means is that don't doubt yourself. Because I feel like you will know exactly where you need to look. And if you resonated with this reading, I feel like something triggered an image, a thought, a memory that you know that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly the person I'm talking about, the relationship I'm talking about. Okay? So trust yourself. Trust your instinct because your instinct is right and that is where you need to go. Okay? So Pisces Aries is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Hope it helps somehow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.